better chance of uh, scoring. That's the solid to our defense. Yeah, we watched that match with a Thailand pair yesterday. Um, it's quite even uh, between the two pairs. Thought he did. Disguise drop shot. Gino, but uh good flicker. And if we're right about the drift, then it's a bit more difficult to control the flickers. Yeah, flick serve again. Yeah. Oh, really. Laser open. Lost out to Zhang and Huang in that final. Yeah, good attack. I think the flick serves have been a part of it. it keeps you guessing. Good play there by Watson Harbour. That's the way to do it. Yeah, poor Van Lucro stayed at the net after the. Service return. Doesn't she? That is jump smashes. Yeah, you can do it on the Japanese side as well. Oh, good defense from Deschapon. The Thai pair. Quick confusion. Oh, ball into the net. Yeah, better communication this time. Little errors of judgment a couple of minutes ago. Instinctive save again from Sapsiri there. Oh, well played, Kashima. At least 
three actions that have been decisive. Good defence from Deschapol. Japan survived, but it's gone wide. Sort of rally, such a battle in the midcourt. The full rally. This is a big point. Oh, Sapsiri intercepts, it goes up. Sapsiri forced out. And they rotate it once more. They started the match and looked a bit lost, just not sure what to do. Valley's won by Antonov and Higashino. Yeah, massive run of momentum and game points. <laughs> and Play. Watanabe and Higashino firmly kicked that door open. And came back so well in the opener. And that um, took away the initiative, some confidence, I think. Not only from him, but also from his partner. He lost their patience. Then Higashino and Watsonhaba started playing better. Higashino uh, taking up the challenge on the front court. Yeah, she really grew in confidence. It's just like that. Of Watanabe and Higashino losing matches like that. Firstly, when they're up and lose, and then the World Championship final, which is, you know, the big one. Do they bring that in? Playing conditions were very slow there. We also had relatively slow playing conditions in Osaka. And but um, one of the things that they can take... Um, Problem for the time period is they don't not only have to get back to where they were in the first game, they're now facing better playing position. Since 2017, so moving into a sixth year, Higashino and Watanabe. This day uh, made him lose confidence. Brilliant start to game two to follow up the end of game one. Shaken by the uh, turn of events in the first game. Well, if my maths are right, it's 19 5 in the last 24. Oh, challenge. Fine. They challenged. I think they're pretty confident here. Yeah. He did at the start of game one. Oh, oh, oh that's Nice from Watanabe. To keep the attack. Grip on something off the court. Great instincts. Calm and no danger. And, uh, they've, they've lifted their game after they uh, caught up with the ties in the first game. Ooh. Oh yeah, look at that, stayed on our court. Can't we be a little bit lucky? 
What a scoreline from... Um, th this is a match that you can use in the um, coaching courses and instruction and in, in your own coaching of players. Showing how important it is to stay totally not threatening to uh, to do anything. And now look, to Elias on it and, and are now holding Sapsare and uh, Dejapan in a strange hold. Yeah, get complacent and relax too much, perhaps. That's what the Thailand pair could hope for. But to force that result, they're going to have to work hard. The moment she sees the direction of uh, Watanabe's smash, she knows where the most likely return is going to come. Deschapon to attack. Ooh. Holding the attack. Six points, they trail. For that lift or drive. Oh, centimeters or so wider than he would have liked, allowed Watanabe to play that. That's good. Well, Higashino for one. Keeping Sapsi. Yeah, absolutely. On their A game. The tie pair. It's only four points. Four out of six, and they're still in the match. He's done well. Right. Okay. Watanabe and Higashino. Yeah. Oh, great work. Anticipation from Watanabe.